Well, good evening. I'm Robert E. Wilson with Cowboy Wisdom Hypnoacuity. Hypnoacuity is hypnotherapy without the quiets the thinking memory mind and opens you up to listen for the new fresh scenarios of your desired lifestyle. Something I discovered this week in Cowboy Hip Wisdom Hypnoacuity is going to promote showing you a way that you're equal with everybody and everything. The world has been stuck in this fabricated inequality of the world. And all the inequality within your life is within you, your subconscious mind, uh, your belief, viewpoints, and every way you've lived your life. Today we're going to begin the expanding out of that because you encompass a unique talent and the wisdom and the foresight to move your life forward in a big, bold, bright way. But I discovered this in myself, and I was always trying to do something, but yet I held myself back. And that is because I didn't feel I was equal. Now I do. And I can show you the way I expanded my life. And it isn't with a bunch of expensive therapy. It's words, images, and understanding your unique talents will expand you forward and allow you to move on with life. So as you move forward with life and enjoy yourself, and you can understand you're flawlessly imperfect, you can expand through anything. And, you know, I used to get really wrapped up and try to make all my videos perfect. But now the way they come out is the way the universe, God, and all the invisible sources of the universe wanted it. You know, it really a, comes down to six things. Enlightenment, awakening, listen, inspiration, appreciation, and understand. The biggest thing is understand you. You understand you. And whenever something unsavory or unsettling happens in your life, you're standing right on the path of enlightenment when you say, why? What do I understand about this? Why do I understand this? And why do you encompass the wisdom, insight, clarity, agility, ability, and audacity to expand through it? You encompass everything. You're the most dynamic dreamer you ever will meet because you encompass it, but you've never been showed the way. You've been told the way, and then you try to imitate somebody, and then zero happens. This is all about lightening the path of enlightenment to sweeten your surrender of all your unwanted stuff to the to oblivion. Then to sweeten your sp sovereign wisdom, enterprising energy today, expanding now. See, that's the thing. Everything happens now. All this stuff, all the past, the past, the past doesn't exist. All you've ever had is right now. We've lived a continuous now, and we have memories that are activated by, by present moment events, but the past never exists in the subconscious mind because it's all being activated now. Subconscious mind is present moment all the time. Now, if somebody says you have to use the past to remember it, if it's, if it's to keep you safe, you will remember it. A lot of stuff we remember is all the unwanted stuff in our life. Man, I can understand this one, and I've done it. But I really want you to understand you are equal to everybody. I don't care if they got a PhD. I don't care if they're the billionaires, and I don't care who it is. You're equal. You're equal in love, sovereignty, spirit, and your unique talents. We've never been allowed to show our unique talents. Because it ain't going to fit into the socialized sabotage of the medication and limitation that we've lived all of our life. We've actually been taught the med medication of limitation because, oh, that ain't here. That ain't in a book. If it ain't in the book, it can't be done. And if it ain't in the book, we don't have the knowledge. Wisdom is the experience to understand you have the innovative talent. We're going to think and know our way to yesterday. And the more I dissolve think and know from my life, the more I enliven my entertainer's nerve, living internal visionary epiphanies now and forevermore. You know, 
rhymes, words. I speak the words of the now and speak the, the, the words of your dreams. And stop telling everybody, oh, it's not me. Well, it did occur, but it occurred to expand you. And see, we've been so victimized with trauma, drama. Oh, you poor thing. That's going to happen to you. That's just poopy do, whoopy do, worthless, bold stuff. And I, and I was guilty as crap of that. But when you open up to understand you're equal to everything and everybody, and that's from the somebody in homeless all the way to the PhDs. And see, here's one thing the education never wants you to expand out of, thinking you have something wrong with you and you're not good enough to match up to a college education. Well, you know what I've learned about college education is? They encompass a fear that their college education may not rise them to where they're going. Money is not a deal. Here's the thing. We're all equal. When you pass away or when the richest man in the world passes away, what are they taken with them? We're all here in love, spirit, sovereignty. And when we pass on, we leave it all here. You can put it in a Put it in your casket or your cremation, but it's still staying here. Because this country and the world is as far as it can go. Yeah, individual wealth, but the country and the world isn't showing people the the, uh, the wisdom to rise up themselves up. Yeah, it's out there, but some people have been so beat themselves up so bad with their thinking memory mind and what society taught them, they can never move forward. And the school system plays favorites. Something I'm now understanding, the systemized education system are for the followers and the sheeple, the followers and the sheeple and the ones that can be herded into, a, into their corner of tyranny or control. See, we've never expanded out of the uh, enslaving mindset of the world. And when you pull out the pure liberation is a wide awake meditation and pull out your sovereign expansion, politically incorrect inspiration, cowboy wisdom, trusting your talents with an FOF that audacity, you'll rise and shine in your dreamers, innovation, visionary imagination now expanding through life. You are the talents that's going to rise the world. And see, you know, the thing is, is we've been manipulated by a silent society with a, that wrote, maybe, perhaps wrote the education system. You never know. But we're so stuck in, our, in, in trying to be perfect, we forget to witness the wisdom of our life. Egotistical arrogance is perfection plasticity. Oh, look at that. I know this. And, and a lot of times if you've been around, and the world isn't for those that will be a little bit of a troublemaker rebel rouser. They're for the ones that will follow and step in the turdocracy of leadership. And something to let go is the titleocracy. Oh, I'm the president. I can do anything to you I want. I can fire you. You know, that happened to me once, and I just told him, go get my money. Should have seen the look on that guy's face. You know, if you're in fear of your job, you're never you're existing through life. If you're in fear of anything, and I still am, don't get me wrong, but when you open up to realize you are equal to everything and everybody, you sing your songs of sovereignty, intuition, naturally galvanizing the wise within you to stroll on your paths of enlightenment, walk on your Trail, uh, your uh, <clears throat> trails of triumph onto your beaches of bountiful bliss. And thank you. I want to thank everybody for listening to this. This is about liberation. This isn't about fitting in to society. This is about living your unique talents to show you a better way in life. My website is mycowboywisdom.com. My email is robert at mycowboywisdom.com. And I have a one-hour free consultation on my website. You can sign up, sign up, and we'll have a conversation about everything. And may your life be as blessed as you are a blessing to the world and me. Thank you, and good night.